Okay, so we're going to start using one of my favorite shampoos ever by Myel Organics. And I'm going to start out by just applying the shampoo directly to my scalp. Because that's typically where we want to focus on getting all of that dirt and grime out because that's where our hair grows, grows from the root. So we want to clean the scalp really good. As you can see, I'm just repetitively going over each spot just to make sure I really, really clean my scalp because at this point I had just taken out my braids and I'd had them in for about five weeks. So I wanted to make sure I got a deep clean. And also if you have like a scalp scratcher or a comb, you wanna really go into your scalp and just kinda dig in there and make sure you're getting all the spots, make sure you're getting all that dirt out. Feel free to do that. I sometimes do do that, but I just couldn't find my scalp scratcher at this point. So I just had to make sure I go in um, with my fingers. And now it's time to rinse. Yeah. <laughs> So with my conditioner, I'm gonna use my pomegranate and honey moisturizing and detangling conditioner. And I typically mix about three different oils with my conditioners, with a deep conditioner, if I don't have some of my other deep conditioners. So with this one, I put coconut oil, castor oil, tea tree oil, and almond oil. And that's a teaspoon of each in with my conditioner, just to make sure I'm penetrating all of those vital vitamins and nutrients that I need in order to moisturize my hair. So as you can see now, I'm just making four quadrants in my head just so I can make this detangling process a little bit easier for me because my hair is so thick. Um, if I just detangle it with my hair just being wild, it'll take me forever and I'll just get frustrated. So I like to split it up in four sections and just go row by row in those four sections just to make that process a little bit easier. So this is the final result. One, two at the bottom, one, two at the top. Four sections. Now we're just gonna go in individually and start this deep conditioning, detangling process. So we're gonna start from the back, coming up to the front. This conditioner is super lightweight. It's one of the things that I really, really like about it. It's not heavy. It allows you to work easily with your hair. And as you apply the conditioner, just make sure you generously apply it and just run it through your fingers just to make sure the product is touching each strand of your hair. To detangle, I use my favorite, favorite detangling brush I got from Target. A lot of people do use a dimming brush or a paddle brush, but I really, really like this brush, so I, I always tend to stick with it. So you just wanna go in and really define your hair. As you can see, my curls are super, super defined and moisturized. When your hair curls in chunks and you see shrinkage, that means that it's super moisturized and you can move on to the next part.
as you can see this is a bigger chunk of hair so I'm just gonna go in and take it in sections and kind of detangle before I detangle and apply a generous amount especially to my ends just to make sure the detangling process is, is smoother uh, whenever I do have big chunks I tend to start out at the ends just because that's where typically the tangles are prominent start off the, at the ends and really go in and make sure that's smooth and then just start from the ends of my hair working my way up and like I said I just took my braids out so my hair is too detangled right now so I just got to go in thoroughly and make sure that I really detangle and another thing about this conditioner is like I said it's super lightweight super slippery so I'm not pulling my hair out as I detangle it's just the comb is gliding through my hair without ripping it out So as you can see, I'm completely done with this portion of my hair. So I'm just gonna run the comb all the way through it. And as you can see, the bounce back of my curls, they are super moisturized and ready to go. And also when you see your hair curl up like that with no strings and it's not straight, that means that's healthy hair. Especially when it comes to your ends, you wanna make sure your ends are curly and they're bouncing back that's a good sign that you don't need a trim at that moment. So we're just gonna wrap this portion up and move on to the next one. And just like that, we are done deep conditioning. <laughs> if only it was that easy. So after I'm done, if I have any excess conditioner left, I just run it through the crevices of my parts and just make sure I apply it deep, deep, deep in, on my hair. I don't know why I just don't like wasting, so we just improvise and we use what we have. Of course, we like to penetrate the moisture and give it some heat to add to that penetration. So we just add a shower cap and then a towel on top. Sometimes I do get in the shower um, just to add to that natural heat but in this instance I didn't and boom what do we have what do we have curls galore yes this is what you should see that is moisturized hair thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video I have more coming soon bye